We heard you were interested in Perth Amboy Kids, Robert Willen School, and our town. We did a little research we'd like to share, reporting our 9 and 10 year old fourth graders from a classroom. They are known as Team Toto. Our school is named after Robert N. Willens, a lawyer who helped improve schools in Perth and Boy. Mr. Willens would be proud to know that we repeat his name nearly every day when we say our motto. The Willens way is the, the right, right way. way. Every day about 1,000 kids in kindergarten through fourth grade enter our building to learn. Some classes are dual language, and they are learning Spanish and English at the same time. Our school is known as the School by the Bay because we are located on the bay, Raritan Bay. Sometimes dolphins find their way into the bay, so our school's mascot is a dolphin. Cool, huh? Go ahead. Is there ever a typical day here? But we usually start with language arts, with, which is mixed in with science and social studies. Right now, we are learning about New Jersey landforms. Later in the day, we learn math. This year, we are learning two-digit number and long division. Our favorite subject is science, so we can't wait for Math Science Week. Mrs. Total said we will be doing experiments all week long, and we will be our real mad scientist. We really like cartoons, but our favorites on, are on Cartoon Network and or Nickelodeon. We love SpongeBob and Teen Titans. We also like to play. We ride bikes and scooters. We use our phones and or iPads to dance and sing. Soccer and baseball are the most popular sports. Of course, we also like to dance and sing. Last week, my class and I went on a walking trip to learn more about the city of Perth Amboy. Perth Amboy is considered an urban city. There are 50,000 residents in about four to five square miles. The houses are close together, so so we have to go to the park or the waterfront to play a game of soccer. The first place we stopped was the Pottsarbury House. It was built in 1762 when New Jersey was called East Jersey when the United States was a colony, colony. Of, colony of Great Britain. We are still wondering why there is a a door on the second floor. Next, we walk to City Hall. In front of City Hall is a replica of the Liberty Bell, a statue of George Washington, our first president at the Earl of Perth. It was built in 1714. This building is the oldest city in City Hall and continuous use in the United States. Mayor Diaz is our mayor, and she is the first is panic mayor in New Jersey. When we walk to the waterfront where, where damage from Superstorm Sandy 2012, it left a big mess that we are still cleaning up. Superstorm Sandy caused millions of dollars of damage from the high winds combined with the high tides. Some people had to stay in shelter while others were out uh, out electricity for up to eight days. Further down the waterfront we saw was the second oldest yacht club in America, the Ratton Yacht Club. The old Kearney Cottage was a captain's house. Captain Kearney was known for protecting the seas from pirates and was one of the first members of the Navy. We continued our walk and noticed that dun grass had been planted to protect the turtles in the area. Besides sea animals, Perth Amboy was a for forest at one time 
and squirrels, chipmunks, chipmunks, and all kinds of birds live here. We are Team Toto. We dream it and we do it. Thank you for being a great audience. We hope you learned a little bit about Perth Amboy, the kids, and one of the schools, Robert M. Willen School.